Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I am a full-time content creator with a background in design, and I have been living in Pittsburgh for the past two and a half years with my fiance Skylar and our Labradoodle Indio, but we are actually moving to Vegas. So this is my third vlog in my moving vlog series. So yesterday was Christmas. We were able to take a break for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but it is now Monday and I am back to trying to get all the things done for our move. So I'm going to do a quick run to Buffalo Exchange and then a quick run to the Goodwill nearby to donate some items. Then when I get back, I have to do some selling. So I'm going to be trying to do some vlogging here and there. Mainly I'm going to be packing and selling furniture and stuff like that because we're only taking what we can take with us in our Jeep Compass. So it's going to be a pretty busy week of just doing that kind of stuff. I'm also going to be doing some cleaning and I'll probably do like an empty apartment tour, but I thought I would just start off our moving vlog with running some quick errands. Here's a quick look at the outfit that I'm wearing to run errands in. I'm wearing this vintage thrifted camel trench coat from the Goodwill Bins over my wool sweater from Colorful Standard. I have leggings on over my Able black skinny jeans, CVs, tennies. I've got my lucky tote bag, some gloves, and a wool scarf, and a nice thick beanie. It is freezing in Pittsburgh, so I definitely have to have all the layers on and a nice long coat as well to help with the wind chill here. vlogged. I have been selling like crazy and packing like crazy, but I also had a few things I had to shoot for a campaign this morning. So that is why I have my hair and makeup done. Otherwise I have been quite the hot mess these past couple of days. So I thought I would show you guys a little bit of the progress that I have made. So as you guys can see, the bedroom is basically empty except for the organizing so I'm going to be using this the rest of our moving vlog. The kitchen is pretty much almost completely packed up. The only thing I have left to pack up in here that's bulky is my espresso machine which I'm going to be putting away at the last minute because I'm having two coffees a day at this point. And then over on the shelves, I have a couple of plants that I am trying to sell and a couple of plants I'm actually keeping. So the two like faux woven looking ceramic ones I am keeping. So we'll see. I originally wasn't going to keep any of the plants at all, but hopefully I'll somehow be able to keep just those two. And then I have a few other pots that I've already packed away like plant pots that I wanted to keep like some cool ceramic ones. And then over here I have some of our year and day plates. I just need to find a box that is specifically for plates and dishes if we're going to keep those. I'm not 100% sure yet. I need to pack up the car and see what I can fit. Sorry you guys, our gas heating just turned back on, but I don't have a lot of time because I have to get back to selling and packing. So hopefully you guys can still hear me well enough. 
The living room is like a complete mess right now with boxes everywhere and just piles of stuff that I'm keeping, donating, and trying to sell. So I'm probably gonna show you guys that tomorrow as far as the progress that I've made there. I'll mainly be finishing up packing tomorrow and then start some cleaning. So I'll be doing some vlogging tomorrow as well. So tomorrow I'll be finishing up packing. I also want to go and vacuum my car before we pack up the car. I have a few other errands like that to run and then I also need to do some cleaning. So I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can during that process tomorrow. So it is now the next day in my moving vlog. I am actually running a couple more moving errands this morning really quickly. I need to go buy some boxes. Not sure if you guys can see, but there is my Colombian rug over all of the boxes I already have packed in the car. So basically I am going to try to find like a few more random box sizes. Well, not random, but I'm basically trying to find the right size boxes so I can squeeze a little bit more into our car like I'm trying to maximize it as much as possible so I need some strategic box sizes to fit the rest of the stuff that I want to take with us so that's one of the errands I'm running I also have an urban darling shop order that I need to send here so I need a box for that I need a box for my espresso machine records books that kind of thing and then I'm stopping by my favorite coffee shop probably for the last time time, KLVN. I need to do just a little bit of work for a campaign. So I'm going to do that while I'm in this area and then head home to do some more packing and cleaning. Mr. Indio just walked into the room. So here is what I have left to pack in the car. I'm going to try to pack most of that into just like some random corners and um, some of the flat type decor pieces will go on top. So I just need to see if I can make those work. My floor mirror is a little bit too big. We, I might be able to fit it if I arrange the car in a certain way. So we are trying to figure that out. The vacuum I'm leaving. And then I just have my espresso machine back there that I need to get a new box for. That box that I thought would fit did not end up working. So lots left to do and we'll probably end up cleaning the rest of the apartment tomorrow before we head out. So I'll do some vlogging then as well. I have been breaking out from all of this stress. I've been selling stuff like crazy the past couple of days, but I've also had campaigns to shoot and just a lot of stuff going on other kinds of like errands that had to be done for the move so i've been super stressed out and exhausted as well but i have just a few things left to take to goodwill and then the cleaning tomorrow and the last bit of the packing so once that's done i am going to be so relieved apartment tour for you guys. We are just about done cleaning. So off the entryway, there is the living room and the bedroom. So if we go this way, here is the big living room 
Over there is where I had my wine bar and bookcases, my mural and my little home office area. And then back through the hall is the kitchen. To the right is the bathroom. And then to the left over here is the bedroom. I just need to take our router and stuff to um, Frontier, I think it is. Closet that way. So our bed was there on that main wall in between. So there's our little bathroom and then the kitchen dining room area. So I had my dining table over here on this side. And then here is the kitchen. So it's a loft apartment. So we had some interesting ceilings. The only bummers were the baseboards were always kind of not very nice. And this I actually had to hide with my little kitchen decor bookcase. And then the panel over here where I had my mural in front of, I would say those were the biggest cons, but I'm definitely excited for a new apartment. So I was literally vomiting and having diarrhea for the first two days. I'm finally just now getting over it, thank God, but that was not a good way to start our trip at all. I'm looking pretty crazy right now. I haven't been doing my makeup or anything, and I've been breaking out just because of like the stress of the move and stuff like that. Also, it has been very freezing. We drove through, of course, Pennsylvania, um, Ohio, Indiana, and we just drove into Nebraska. So it has been a very long trip so far. We are almost about halfway there, and I cannot wait to arrive at Skylar's dad's house. We are going to be staying there for a few weeks, possibly a little bit more, we'll see. Just saving up and looking for the perfect Vegas rental home. Skylar and Indio are taking a nap in the car at the rest stop, so I'm gonna try to get a little bit of work done, just editing this vlog and stuff. And um, I'll try to keep you guys updated on the rest of our vlog. We'll see what I'm able to film. It has been pretty tough so far, but now that I'm feeling a little bit better, maybe I'll be able to get a couple more clips and then, and the vlog from there.